The Ansonia Hotel, the real-life inspiration for the famous Arconia building in the television show Only Murders in the Building, has a dramatic and scandalous history that rivals any television series. Built by William Earl Dodge Stokes, an heir to the Ansonia Copper Fortune, the hotel was a grand residential building that took up an entire city block on Broadway between 73rd and 74th Streets in New York City. Stokes spared no expense in creating the Ansonia, with 1,400 rooms, 300 suites, grand ballrooms, restaurants, tea rooms, and even a large fountain housing live seals. However, the scandals surrounding Stokes and the hotel were even more extravagant. Stokes' first marriage to a 15-year-old heiress ended in divorce, and his preference for young women was well known. The hotel was also the scene of several violent events, including the death of a racketeer named Al Adams and Stokes being shot in the leg three times by his 22-year-old mistress. The Ansonia was also a popular spot for celebrities, including Babe Ruth, who considered the entire hotel an extension of his apartment. It was also the location of the infamous Black Sox scandal in baseball history. After Stokes' death, the hotel fell into disarray and was eventually turned into rental units. It became the site of the Continental Baths, a cabaret sex club, and later Plato's Retreat, featuring a 50-person jacuzzi in a clothing-optional disco dance floor. However, the residents of the Ansonia fought to preserve the building, refusing to pay rent until necessary repairs were made and successfully appealing to the Landmarks Preservation Commission to save the building's beautiful exterior. Thanks to their efforts, the Ansonia was transformed into luxury condominiums and has remained a historic and iconic building in New York City. The history of the Ansonia Hotel is a true and dramatic tale of scandal, luxury, and perseverance, making it the perfect inspiration for the captivating setting of only murders in the building.